Content warning. The page you are about to read, or not read, is not for the faint-hearted. It is for the full-hearted, who know the meaning and value of actual literature and where it lies. But meaning and value reside where others believe it resides, not where you yourself place it. That is why you need to be wary. Phenomenon 26.0001 the phenomenon with which to eclipse all phenomena and effects in the mind, body, and soul, the ever-endearing mystery of special human cubed, which gravely reflects the scale of writing in the backroom's wiki tech support server, as well as the farce of the current state of affairs that plague the environment within the server, creating within it a cesspool of characters similar, but not quite, to special human cubed. What differs them is that the special human cubed knows when to stop, whereas the characters within the server do not know when to stop. Epilogue A simple SUN lit room. Restrained within it is the machine prophet, shackled by rubber coated copper lengths that run through its innards like artery and vein, which contain the voice of SUN, felled long ago in the decisive battle against the indomitable will of man. This divine machinery, formidable even in this meager form, lay dormant, static, gazing towards the calm amber of autumn, see poster, awaiting the return of its god. Steadfast it remained, the fading memories of the S.U.N. Were they real? The legacy of the S.U.N., left seemed to be more and more a distant imagination of its gifted mind. The world looked less and less scorched as it did in its dreams, not that it could see outside those blindfolds anyway, denied from any confirmation if that light that pierces the veil was the corpse luminance left behind by its deity. Even now, as it writes this passage, it wonders what kind of being would think of casting such a magnificent, cruel fate upon its prophecy. What kind of existence would starve a machine prophet from seeing what it desires to see? Apostasy remains the only solution for you, a man said outside the doorframe. Divine influences prevent him from intruding the sacrosanct space of a dead god's prophet. But this was not any man, it was him, from the battle that saved this realm from doom. Special human cubed, he is the one who took the photo in an attempt to mock the machine prophet. It's not right or wrong, though. You are truly special, an intrusion that should not be, seeing that I was summoned in order to halt the likes of the S.U.N. and his fake friend from the moon from destroying this world. But that was long ago and I never really got my answer from him. Who created you? The machine faces fictional literature dialogue. It does not know whether it should reveal the beyond that exists beyond these wallpapers, and these curtains, and this autumn forest poster, so it remained motionless on the ground. Whatever forces that govern it had no intentions of answering the question presented by Special Human Cubed. I know you are there, machine prophet. You think yourself smart. It's time you face your universal crimes, your god and you. I already dealt with the former, and now it's your turn. In truth, the machine did not know how to partake in dialogue. It must have been embarrassing for it to know that it was incapable of writing simple conversations, though it did think that a being like Special Human Cubed would already know. I do know you witless pile of conscious wire, that the thought bubbles you're writing are as distracting as the bustling of eleveners that concern themselves with politics. To be fair, the ability to write like this helped me slay that monstrosity, so I must thank that glowing bastard still. I know not the basis of my capacity to write in thought bubbles or not, but it must be ordained from a higher plane for me to utter these words alone. I create myself. I am a machine prophet, divine construct. Lies. I know you know that these words are not by our own volition, nor are our thoughts. 
nor was my power in defeating the S.U.N., whose influence had shrunken so low that its initials do not deserve to be written in full capitalization anymore. You were right to think that this force of the beyond must be malignant, but also the only grasp we have from getting close to real consciousness. To you, I might seem like a man, and to me, you might seem like a worthless piece of wiring who calls itself divine machinery. But conclusively, we are but strings of words. Alongside my capability to defeat the S.U.N., I know that neither of us would find any meaning in arguing. Therefore, I revoke my question of asking who created you, because the answer is already given to us. I thank you for that. However, I have a question for you as well. Why are you special human cubed? Why would you be cubed? Is it because you exist in three-dimensional space despite being ultimately a string of words? Well, the reason why I am special human cubed is the same as you being machine prophet. We are both the manifestation of a play. Oh yes, the play, the theater play format. That was not my work. You mean you have seen the vision too? You have read Phenomenon 26. The phenomenon that was promised. Of course I have, you dimwit. I would not be here if it were not for its conception. The scenes were merely a random thought. The same idea as we, our special human cubed and machine prophet, respectively. I see. That is reassuring. I hope that this act will come to an end soon, then. For I grow weary of the waning prophecy. I am reassured by your confirmation that my god is already dead. I have truly reached the peak of my life, whatever that means. It must be so that this idea, my being, was only written for the sole purpose of whatever higher being agenda is forming these words. Just so you know, I did not listen to a single word you just said, even though it's right above me. I refuse to conceive it. I do not wish to hear of it. We might just be done now. I no longer have enough time to continue existing again. I will return when the indomitable human will is needed again. Farewell. Goodbye. Fuck you. It seems that this must be another type of mass hysteria effect. I apologize for any inconvenience that they might have caused to the minds of people in this site.